Welcome back, boys and girls, to Sarah is Missing. On the last episode, we worked out that we have Derek the ex, Aya the best friend, and we have Faith. We worked out that Sarah is very much into ghosts and doing a lot of research on ghosts and trying to work out what they are exactly. We also worked out that Faith is a pagan and she's into covens. And one time before, she invited Sarah to a coven. We also know that Sarah is missing and we have her mobile phone. So let's get started. The next person we're going to head to is Jill. Oh, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun? Something crazy? I mean, you're doing it now. Your endless research on the paranormal. I don't know. I guess you're right. You're a genius in our batch. Oh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, you are sometimes, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Can you do me a favour? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app. You never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend. Don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. Not too sure about dating apps. Sometimes I can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> but put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. A party might not be a bad idea. Have fun, please. I don't know. Just try. Okay, okay, fine, I will. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jilly Beans. No problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has become my specialty. Haha, <laughs> very funny, very funny. You'll be alright. I know, I know. Hey, have a safe flight. Good luck and I hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks, I'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do, somehow I think you'll find a cure for it. <laughs> I just might. Take care. Okay, mm. so that was Jill. Jill seems like quite a close friend as well. And the last things we have to look at, message-wise, is the uni group, which says chat unavailable, and uh, James. Mm. Coffee? 1600? Yeah, sure. But let's make it 630. 1630 is bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I gotta go. Later, Jam. Okay, so they're both maybe in the same class. And this chat is unavailable, and it became unavailable on the 1st of May. So, so far, I think she went missing around the 1st of May, or... Yeah, 1st of May, I'd say. Let's go back. Okay, so uh, we have some music. Let's listen to some music. Oh man, that's some sexy tunage right there. What else we got? Oh, is that the only song? That sucks. The end is nigh. Okay. Uh, male. Submission deadline. Oh god, I remember these! I remember these at uni! They were horrible! They were just horrible! It was like, you have a deadline to attend! Oh no, 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 no. Happy birthday, Sarah! How lucky you to be born on Valentine's Day! We wish our coolest member with one of our favourite poems. One second. Ugh, that's so loud. That's better. Too loud for me. So, where was it? Shit, where'd it go? There it is. Tender pool alone in a tomb of a room, without cigarettes or wine, just a light bulb and a pot belly, grey haired and glad to have a room. Well that was nice. From the we still from the Dead Society. PS do not send us your latest work for our catalogues purposes only. Oh do send us your latest work. Party invite. Oh happy days, oh happy days. Party invite unknown unknown. From Kamar. On the virus note, I was referring to the computer virus hidden in the 11th essay. That's not entirely true, but the virus was the essay. You brought up a good point. Who's this from? Go back. Go up. Professor Hassan. You brought up a good point. How would a person who was cybernized at an early age like a major develop properly? 
I would imagine they would have leave the they would they would have leave the pituitary gland untouched. Overall, development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum with when cybernization is introduced into the equation. J.D. Selenana is a real enough, but the man who wrote the Individual Eleven, the book containing ten essays on revolution, Patrick Sylvester, is a fictional creation of Shiro Mazmoon as a plot device for the second season. However, the themes from Stand Alone Complex are not in the Catcher in the Rye or The Laughing Man. These books are merely being referred to quite a lot, though. The subject is something I was wandered off on myself. First, let's run a biological perspective. One, with cyborg bodies and cyber brains, we would not get real viruses. We would also not have an immune system and we would not have an endocrine system. Without an endocrine system, we have no hormones, no testosterone, no estrogen, no prostrogen, no adrenaline. Would we act like people without those basic chemicals in our body? Men, I don't think, would be the same, or even close. I bet the two sexes would perhaps be closer, but people would drift further apart. Why would we need to be with anyone? Secondly, the philosophical stuff. This is something I'm bad at, so please to excuse me. I haven't verified the library, the works cited as they say in the book that inspired the individual Eleven, or anything besides uh, J.D. Selinger's Catchers in the Rye, but I've assumed that they were real books, and if those books were written in the past, have valid points in the future, why shouldn't it be something that the same future may have to deal with? People are people, until we aren't people anymore, right? We will have many of the same struggles as we have had in the past. I mean, that's why people read holy books written thousands of years ago to find answers to problems of today. What will be problematic is if we do not keep aware of what had happened. What is happening in order to continue to improve upon the future? Being unaware is so much of the problem. Continuing where we left off during our discussion yesterday, so I had to rush off, had uh, brief simple thoughts on the matter. How relevant do you feel this philosophy and sci sociology themes present in GITS SAC are today? And they just a uh, plot designed to make the show more interesting and intellectual. Has uh, Sherman Mazudu. I'm so sorry if I pronounced any of these names wrong. I just can't even. I think that if you remove certain cyberpunk elements, the basis of social theory present is well worth consideration. Most present in the series is the titular standalone complex so they're basically just talking about a standalone oh but that's always it's always good to just go to the conclusion in conclusion a standalone complex could be used to bring about change or halt change this could be for good or for worse depending on the ideology of those who possess the sac um, in my personal opinion, this makes a standalone complex highly relevant to any society, as any society is always in a state of constant change and development. Mm. Ah, that was a lot. Mm. Chainmail from Buddy! I forward this to you, it's from a friend and I think you should be careful. P.S. Rihanna loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. Beware of the emails of strange attachments. This is a chain email going around that I strongly advise you do not read. It, 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 and most importantly, do not open. It can come in any shape and form, but always with a particular video attachment. It's said that whoever watches the video will bring upon a bad omen. The sender will also encourage you to send the video to people you know. If you receive such content, please delete it from your phone. Only you can prevent the spread of the content online. Can we open the content? Whoopsie. Oh, God. Go up. <laughs> Um, hello Sarah, great start to your 2007 London wishlist. Show off your great taste. Save your favourites by tapping on the heart. If you're travelling with friends, invite them to the same places. Uh, extension four days, rooms, Laura's single apartment. Thank you for extending your stay with us. When was this? Go back. Oh shit, it doesn't show when it was. Wait, wait go back. Unknown. Who the fuck? It's your birthday month. Celebrate your birthday with us. Two uh, That's just one of those shitty, boring, mm. scammy emails. Cave for mm. coffee. Try out a new carpeted, a new carpet flavored coffee beans. Oh, lovely! Featuring Persian and Arabic carpets. Okay, mm. that's enough for the uh, the mail. Let's head to the gallery. Unfortunately, this app has stopped working. Please contact the developer. 
Damn it. Notes. Mm -hmm. There's no place I can call home, but it's warm in between your toned thighs, like winter ting at tigers listening to the god whispering good night from nowhere. Static. You loved me yesterday, but today, no. Today you love yourself, and I, I loved yesterday. And I giggled. And I didn't know that when I giggled, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand, and I giggle no more. We live from notification to notification. I like this one. Oh, damn it. I can't write anything. Can I add stuff? We live in a toy. There you go. Boom. Okay, go back to it. As I calculated, only a minor portion of the phone's contents are available. Okay, what should I do to help? You may tap and hold on anything interesting or suspicious. I will lend my assistant to look into it. Where should I start? Suspicious conversations. Perhaps going through her messages would help. What the fuck is that? Where does it... It just said suspicious conversations somewhere. Oh, and her phone? Okay. Derek asshole. Alexis. Derek. James. Oh, fuck. Hello? Hello, Val. No answer. Alexis? Hello? No, no, no. Okay, Derek. Arsenal's always answer. Nothing. Strange. Okay, um... The last one was done on the 30th. To Derek and then also to her. Okay, um, let's head through the messages and then I want to go on to Faith and then hold that. A... Is that German? Walpurgenist. Yes, you're well informed. What is Welgenpilgenist? Walpus Night in English is one of the Dutch and German names of the night of the 30th of April, which is when everything happened. So called because of its avenue of the feast day of Saint uh, Welgenpilga, a 8th century abscess. Abscess? Not abscess. <laughs> it is believed to be the night of the witches' meeting. Do people still practice this? Why would Sarah be involved with this? Based on the text history, it appears that Faith is practicing Wiccan. Is Sarah Wiccan too? Sarah believes in finding the truth. Okay. Okay, let's check up with um Derek. Jill? Okay, I'll go back. Go to phone. Recent calls. It's just weird that we'd be calling him, of all people. Okay, how about this? I need the gallery to be fixed. Damn it. Fucking damn it. Okay, so how about mail? Um, how about... This one. No? That's some good shit right there. What are you talking about? I can't find anything. Mm -hmm. 
There is something unusual about Faith and Aya's mess Aya's mm. messages. Uh, I've already. Oh no, I didn't mm. go on the Aya messages, did I? Mm. There you go. Sarah's actions. It's unusual. Why is that? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes daily in her life. What is Sarah like usually? Her recent behaviour shows that she is suffering from abrupt and apparent unaccountable changes of mood. Possibly due to her relationship issue. But I'm no doctor. I agree with you. What, what did he say? Ah! Wait, wait, wait. I think there might be uh, more clues to whereabouts if we look for her photos. I believe the gallery is corrupted. Would you kindly tap and hold on the gallery? Oh, God. Yeah, go on then. Fix it for me. We need picture evidence. It seems Sarah has kept it locked. You will need the passcode to proceed. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Um. Can you just tell me? I know what her birthday is. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh... Perhaps it's somewhere in the device. I oh, know it's Valentine's Day. It's the fourteenth of February. <laughs> Please enter the passcode. Um, 14th of January, February, 02. There you go. Okay, we're going to leave that episode here. If you do enjoy this and you want to watch more episodes, please leave a comment below. And as always, please subscribe. Bye.